hello everyone welcome to quick code academy so today in this video we will see how we can customize the material table so as of now i have added one material table and the ui looks something like this so this is default ui but there are many cases where we want to override the default behavior that is default css of this table and sometimes it is very tricky because we are not able to override the css which we want so in this video we will see how we can override the css so first of all we don't want this header to be look like this so that is simple right you can write th and in that you can give whatever color you want to give so here i have the list of colors that i will be using in this video i will add those in the comment section as well so here as of now we will give this header color like this and as soon as i mention that you can see our header has been changed so now suppose if we want to change the height of this so let's see whether if we apply the height over here it is applicable or not so here i want to reduce the size of header but it is not affecting the css okay so that's why we will have to override the classes so how to check that you can click on inspect element and then if you see we have list of tags over here so we need to check whether which tag we want to override so here you can see as i am hovering on this tr mat header row it is automatically getting selected and here one default height is mentioned so from here i can change the height so i want the height as 35px so what i can do i can cop simply copy this class and then over here i can give that style so i will need to remove it from here and as soon as i mention okay the style is getting applied properly okay and then i want this header color to be white so here i can mention color as white so that our text will become white so now there will be one more case suppose suppose if you want to reduce the size of the rows so how you can do that you can simply check which row you want to style in so here there are multiple classes so now we have got this class tr.matro so we are going to copy this one and we are going to give the height whatever we want so suppose i want the height as 30px so i will give it as 30px and you can see our ui has been changed okay so suppose if you want to change the background color of this alternate rows so how we can do that we can simply again click on this we will check which tag we want to override so here i will click on tr then here you can see background is inherit then let's check another thing where we can mention the colors so here also we haven't got anything so let's uh, try applying the background col color over here only so here i will give background color as red okay on saving it is getting applied so here i can give whatever color which i want so i have already uh, copied the color so i will give this alternate color as background so as soon as i mention the row color has been changed but i want this alternate for alternate rows so how we can do that we can simply say colon and type n so in the vs code you will get option like n child so in that we have to mention even so 
now you can see whatever color we have applied it is getting applied to the alternate row okay and the height of the alternate row is also changed so we want it in unified so what we can do we can simply copy this again tr.matro and in that we can mention this height as 30px and if you want we can remove this height from here so the row height will be uniform so now you can see the alternate row background color is white and then the uh, light green color shade is over here so you may ask if you want to change the font of this so how we can do that so you will have to check on each and every tag so where the font family is mentioned so now you can see over here the current font family is roboto so we can copy this class and then over here somewhere i can mention mat table then font family here i will give whatever font family i want so as soon as i mention this one so that particular font family is getting applied okay the previous and font family uh, change is not uh, visible to naked ads so we will try to uh, change this font family to some other else so i will just give times new roman just to check whether it is getting applied or not so now you can see our font family is changed so in this way you can tweak the properties of default material table so let's do one thing also so here if suppose you want to change the border bottom so we will have to check where the border bottom color is mentioned so now you can see for td dot mat cell the border bottom is mentioned so what we can do we can simply copy this td dot mat cell and over here just to check we will give border bottom color as border border bottom as 1 px solid and here i will just mention red as of now and let's see yes here it is getting applied so what you can do here you can complete this one by border bottom color and i have already one color over here so i'm going to copy paste this now you can see the border color is also changed okay in this way you can customize the css of mat table thank you for watching this video if you find this video helpful then make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you